Good morning, 95.1 listeners. This is Pastor Lauren with our Thursday Thought. I'm deeply saddened to hear of the fires in Widoso in the Mescalero area. Oftentimes the question is, well, why would God allow this to happen? That is the same question that is often asked about wars and natural disasters, disease, illness, death, crime, and so on. And the best answer that I have is that God does not always involve himself in situations or manipulate events. By that I mean that God does not create weather. He allows it to happen. He does not say, well, let's have a fire over here and a tornado over here. He just allows weather to run its course and to do its thing. And he does that with people as well. Sometimes he just allows them to run their course. And we see that in crimes against humanity. And we see that in nature. God could prevent it, but he just allows it to run its course. And it's like, could God cause it to rain in the Mescalero or Rudoso area today? Yes, he could, but maybe because of the storm front or whatever the weather was doing, it was going to rain today anyway, or maybe tomorrow. So God is not always controlling the situation like we think that he should. Sometimes he just lets things run their course, both in nature and crimes against humanity. However, I think it is important to not blame God or circumstances on God or other things. The other day, I was reading an article from a media source that stated that part of the reason for the fires in Rudoso and Mescarel was due to climate change because of fossil fuel use. Obviously, the writer of that article, or the media he was working for, was trying to push their agenda for electric vehicles. I would say that that perhaps has very little to do with the fire, though there's maybe some concerns about climate change because we have our four seasons, so it changes all the time. I have not heard of what the cause of the fires were, though lightning strikes is suspected last I heard. But perhaps some of the problem is poor forestry management, though I'm a pastor, not a forestry expert, so I will not cast blame on that situation. Just let me say the answer to why God allows things to happen is oftentimes God does not control an event or a situation or manipulate it. He simply allows it to run its course. Let me say a prayer for us. Lord, I am deeply saddened by the fires in the Rudoso and Mescalero area. I pray for the family of the one casualty I've heard of, that you will give them peace and comfort. Father, also join with the many in that area praying for safety of the people that are involved in whatever capacity they are serving in, be it forest fire fighters or law enforcement or whatever. And we just um, thank you for those people that are serving, and we pray for the ones that are being evacuated and that have lost their homes, but... We have to remember that possessions are replaceable and people are not. So help us keep that in perspective. Amen. Until we meet up again on the airwaves, I'm sending you my love and prayers. Blessings, Pastor Lauren.